Hi guys, it's me, Josephine, and today I'm making a special video. This is because I'm so excited. I've got so many views now, and I've got so many subscribers, and also so many likes. I'm very thankful for that. Thank you so much. It makes me really happy and makes me want to do more. So today I'm going to talk about three absolute no-goes no goes for me these are really no goes and i think every new mom should know about them if you're new to this channel don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos and also give this video a thumbs up if you like it at the end and if you have any questions then just leave me some comments down below and i'm gonna answer so those no goes they are very very important to me and I see a lot of people doing all of those three things all around the time, especially here in the US. And it just breaks my heart because in Germany, the people are really so straight and they tell you, they just come to you and they tell you in the US, that's rude. You can't do that here. You would get into lots of problems if you would do that here. <laughs> so you, you just don't say anything and cross your fingers that the person will know it from someone else <laughs> because yeah if you don't know that person you just can't tell it and in Germany everybody everybody comes to you hey do you know you have to do it that way <laughs> people who don't know people who don't know you people who have no idea how you really actually raise your kid and why you do it they just come to you straight forward and tell you hey just so you know you're doing it wrong <laughs> Yeah, I mean, sometimes it's nice because um, sometimes you really need to know something, but it it can be also, um, yeah, a little a little rude, <laughs> and yeah. But I mean, I'm used to it because I'm German. I'm not used to shut my mouth. That's kind of hard because I'm German, <laughs> but I'm trying my best. So those three things I'm gonna tell them now, but on the internet and not to somebody. On the street who's doing it <laughs> that's maybe a little better way <laughs> okay so the first what I see right now a lot is mothers because of this he they don't want uh, not just mothers parents in general but I see this a lot that parents they don't want that the kid is in the direct Sun so what they do is they grab a thin blanket or thick it doesn't matter they just grab a blanket and put it over the stroller or over the car seat or wherever the child is inside they just put this blanket on top and it is actually like this if you do that then it creates a heat because so many people think oh my baby sleeps so much better when i do that that's true the baby sleeps better but not because it sleeps so good in, under the blanket it is because the bed the baby passes actually out under this blanket it creates a huge heat it is kind of like in a sauna and there's just not enough air and the brain starts to have some issues and this will happen later not directly with the brain don't worry if you do this just for a few minutes but if you do this on a regular basis this is what happens because the brain just does not get enough air and that's very important for the brain Otherwise you get headache. I mean, you know, when you don't open the windows, it's the same. You get headache. And um, it's just so bad. It is so much hotter. They tested that in Germany. They put something to measure the temperature inside the strollers with and without those blankets, with the different kinds of blankets and different thicknesses, different colors. And yeah, at the end, they said the best you can do is to get for your stroller one of those stroller umbrellas. Yes, you have to move it around. Yes, it can be annoying, but it's the way better way if you want that your child is not in the direct sun. Because with this blanket, your child passes out. It's very bad. It's just very, very bad. Just don't do it. The next thing is how people carry their babies. It is more common now to carry the child. Not everybody does it and especially not as long as I do it because my daughter is over two and I'm 
continuing doing that. I carry my child because for me, this is just the right way to do it. And I can also take some videos for you guys about how to carry a child and in the different carriers and in the different, different wraps and what are the differences, which you should look for if you buy the first time a carrier and all of those things. If you're interested in that, just let me know in the comments down below. So back to the theme, the carrying. I see a lot of parents in the US, I see it, saw it also in Germany, but there was just a tiny little amount, but here I see them constantly front facing. So the head is going away because the people, they see it in movies, they see it on advertisement and they think, hey, that's so nice because if I carry my child like that, my child can see what I see and it's so nice for my kid. But what you actually do is something very, very bad because your body is not, is, is not flat and also not going like this. So your body is, is, is more going like this and then the back of the baby has to go like this too. So usually I would have my back like this, but then when I'm front facing Carrie, I'm like that. That hurts. That really hurts. If you are getting carried like that, it is uncomfortable, it hurts, it is just, <sighs> yeah, it's very bad. It's very, very bad. The spine is constantly in that shape. And this is so bad for your child. The spine should be in the other way. The baby should be able to hang around like that when you carry your child, to have the back like this. This is the right way to carry your child because your child has not that bones like you have it as an adult or as an older child. A little child has very soft bones. They can be easily deformed. You can cause so much damage if you carry your child front facing. So please moms, throw those carriers what are front facing just out. They are not good. These are the worst carriers because usually the ones where you can carry your child front facing, they do also not support until the knees and they are just bad carriers. <sighs> yeah. Now we come to our last point. Are you excited? What's the last? So the last is the maxi cozy. I call it maxi cozy. I'm sure there are also other ways to call it. In Germany, we call it maxi cozy. It is this baby car seat where you can put the car seat inside and take it out and put it also in some strollers. And then you can put it so perfectly in some of the shopping carts when you go grocery shopping and you can just carry your child all around the time inside of those. But you shouldn't. Why? Okay, your child, especially when they're very young, and that's the time when you carry them inside of that usually, because when they're older, they can sit straight, you have a different kind of car seat. But yeah, when they are so young, they can't move their head like we can. The head is something we have to hold. And what happens is when they are there inside, then they lay like this. with their head. And what does this? The child can't breathe well. And if the child can't breathe well, then this is so dangerous that I'm talking about something that can cause death. And that is very sad because there are actually, if you look it up, people who have dead kids because of that. There is one story what is very famous. I read that when my daughter was still very young and I was carrying her in that. And I was so shocked. And I read that in that moment, I directly stopped to carry her like that because I just wanted to get rid of that thing after reading that. So it was in the US, a mom left her kids with the babysitter and she took care of them and the littlest one she just couldn't fall asleep and she tried everything and then they had to drive somewhere and then finally the baby fell asleep and we know that all of us know that 
every mom, every parent, we know how hard it can be, how much we struggle sometimes to bring that child to sleep. And we really need that time, I know. So finally the child was asleep and she didn't want to wake up the child. I understand that, I get that so badly. And she took out the child with this maxi cozy and brought it like that inside and then the child stopped breathing and nobody realized it. And when the parents came home, it was too late. It was just too late. And I think everybody should know about that because this is something they should write on top of those maxi cozies. They should not just sell them like that. They should write that in the instructions. Hey, don't carry your child all around the time in that. Not longer than like a half hour. If it's longer than a half hour, your child can die. Don't leave your child inside. If you have to go on a long drive, make stops. Grab your child, help your child out of that seat. If you're going grocery shopping, help your child out of that. This seat is not for that. This seat is just for a drive to somewhere and not to leave your child inside. Don't do it. If you want that your child is calm and sleeps a lot, buy a baby carrier. The best you can do, buy a baby carrier. The baby carrier what fits to you because we're all different. We prefer different things. And I know some are very complicated, some are easier. But when your child is on your body, and in this contact, especially when they are young, when, when they are very young, then this works so well. They just sleep and you have free hands and you don't have to carry that heavy thing because that thing is heavy. I remember how I looked up what kind of tricks you have, how to carry it. And there was this trick where you go through it and then you carry it kind of in your elbow like that. I remember looking those tricks up, but just don't leave your child inside of that. Learn from this mistake that happened to this poor child that died. And I know there are more kids who have died inside of those seats. And I think just that this should not be repeated. Kids are innocent and they should not have to die in something like that. They should not have to die in any way. These are just babies. I, I don't know what I would do if my child would die in something like that. I'm really happy that I found out early enough. So now you know, don't forget about that. I'm sure you don't because nobody would want that. I hope that was a help for you. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you liked that video. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos and give this video a thumbs up. And if you have any questions or you just want to say hi, then leave me a comment. That would make me very happy and I'm gonna answer. Goodbye, have a beautiful time. Thank you for watching.